Keystroke logging, often referred to as key logging or keyboard capturing, is the action of recording the keys struck on a keyboard, typically in a cover manner so that the person using the keyboard is unaware that their actions are being monitored. It has uses in the study of human computer interaction. There are numerous key logging methods, ranging from hardware and software based approaches to acoustic analysis. Application Software based keyloggers. These are computer programs designed to work on the target computer's software. From a technical perspective, there are several categories hypervisor based. The keylogger can theoretically reside in an aware hypervisor running underneath the operating system, which remains untouched. It effectively becomes a virtual machine. Blue Pill is a conceptual example. Kernel based. A program on the machine gets root and hides itself in the OS, and starts intercepting keystrokes. This method is difficult both to write and to combat. Such keyloggers reside at the kernel level and are thus difficult to detect, especially for user mode applications who don't have root access. They are frequently implemented as root kits that subvert the operating system kernel and gain unauthorized access to the hardware, making them very powerful. A keylogger using this method can act as a keyboard device driver for example, and thus gain access to any information typed on the keyboard as it goes to the operating system. API-based, these keyloggers hook keyboard APIs inside a running application. The keylogger registers for keystroke events, as if it was a normal piece of the application instead of malware. The keylogger receives an event each time the user presses or releases a key. The Keliger simply records it. Windows APIs such as Get Async Key State, Get Foreground Window, etc., are used to poll the state of the keyboard or to subscribe to keyboard events. A more recent example simply polls the BIOS for pre boot authentication pins that have not been cleared from memory. Form grabbing based Form grabbing based Keligers log web form submissions by recording the web browsing on submit events. These happen when the user finishes filling in the form and clicks on the OK, or Submit, or Go, or anything that indicates that you're finished. This records form data before it is passed over the Internet. Memory injection based, memory injection based Keligas alter memory tables associated with the browser and other system functions to perform their logging functions. By patching the memory tables or injecting directly into memory, this technique can be used by malware authors who are looking to bypass Windows UAC. The Zeus and Speed Trojans use this method exclusively. Non-Windows systems have analogous protection mechanisms that need to be thwarted somehow by the Keliger. Packet analyzers, this involves capturing network traffic associated with HTTP post events to retrieve unencrypted passwords. This doesn't work with HTTPS connections a Euro packet analysis was, in fact, one of the attacks that HTTPS was explicitly intended to prevent. Remote access software keyloggers, these are local software keyloggers with an added feature that allows access to the locally recorded data from a remote location. Remote communication may be achieved using one of these methods, data is uploaded to a website, database or an FTP server. Data is periodically emailed to a predefined email address. Data is wirelessly transmitted by means of an attached hardware system. The software enables a remote log into the local machine from the Internet or the local network, for data logs stored on the target machine to be accessed. Most of these aren't stopped by HTTPS encryption because that only protects data in transit between computers. This is a threat in your own computer the one connected to the keyboard. Keystroke logging and writing process research, keystroke logging has become an established research method to study writing processes. Different programs have been developed to collect online process data of writing activities. The most common are, input log, script log, and translog. Most of these programs have overlapping capabilities, but all of them have also very specific characteristics making them complementary in their use. Keystroke logging can be a suitable research instrument in a number of writing contexts. Research areas include for instance the following, studies on cognitive writing processes in general, description of writing strategies in professional writing or creative writing, the writing development of children with and without writing difficulties, spelling, 
first and second language writing, and the writing of expert and novice writers in professional contexts and in specialist skill areas such as translation and subtitling. Not only can keystroke logging be used in research specifically on writing, it can also be integrated in educational domains for second language learning, programming skills, and typing skills. Related features Software keylogs may be augmented with features that capture user information without relying on keyboard key presses as the sole input. Some of these features include clipboard logging. Anything that has been copied to the clipboard can be captured by the program. Screen logging. Screenshots are taken in order to capture graphics based information. Applications with screen logging abilities may take screenshots of the whole screen just one application or even just around the mouse cursor. They may take these screenshots periodically or in response to user behaviors. A practical application used by some Kellogg's with this screen logging ability is to take small screenshots around where a mouse has just clicked. These defeat web-based keyboards and any web-based on-screen keyboard without screenshot protection. Programmatically capturing the text in a control. The Microsoft Windows API allows programs to request the text value in some controls. This means that some passwords may be captured, even if they are hidden behind password masks. The recording of every program window opened including a screenshot of each and every website visited, also including a screenshot of each. The recording of search engines queries, instant messenger conversations, FTP downloads and other internet-based activities. Hardware-based Kellogg's Hardware-based Kellogg's do not depend upon any software being installed as they exist at a hardware level in a computer system. Firmware-based, BIOS-level firmware that handles keyboard events can be modified to record these events as they are processed. Physical and or root-level access is required to the machine, and the software loaded into the BIOS needs to be created for the specific hardware that it will be running on. Keyboard hardware Hardware Kelligas are used for keystroke logging by means of a hardware circuit that is attached somewhere in between the computer keyboard and the computer, typically in line with the keyboard's cable connector. There are also USB connectors based hardware Kelligas as well as ones for laptop computers. The mini PCI card plugs into the expansion slot of a laptop. More stealthy implementations can be installed or built into standard keyboards so that no device is visible on the external cable. Both types log all keyboard activity to their internal memory, which can be subsequently accessed, for example, by typing in a secret key sequence. A hardware Kellogg has an advantage over a software solution, it is not dependent on being installed on the target computer's operating system and therefore will not interfere with any program running on the target machine or be detected by any software. However its physical presence may be detected if, for example, it is installed outside the case as an inline device between the computer and the keyboard. Some of these implementations have the ability to be controlled and monitored remotely by means of a wireless communication standard. Wireless Keyboard Sniffers These passive sniffers collect packets of data being transferred from a wireless keyboard and its receiver. As encryption may be used to secure the wireless communications between the two devices, this may need to be cracked beforehand if the transmissions are to be read. Keyboard overlays Criminals have been known to use keyboard overlays on ATMs to capture people's pins. Each key press is registered by the keyboard of the ATM as well as the criminal's keypad that is placed over it. The device is designed to look like an integrated part of the machine so that bank customers are unaware of its presence. Acoustic Kellogg's Acoustic cryptanalysis can be used to monitor the sound created by someone typing on a computer. Each key on the keyboard makes a subtly different acoustic signature when struck. It is then possible to identify which keystroke signature relates to which keyboard character via statistical methods such as frequency analysis. The repetition frequency of similar acoustic keystroke signatures the timings between different keyboard strokes and other context information such as the probable language in which the user is writing are used in this analysis to map sounds to letters. A fairly long recording is required so that a big enough sample is collected. Electromagnetic emissions, 
it is possible to capture the electromagnetic emissions of a wired keyboard from up to 20 meters away, without being physically wired to it. In 2009, Swiss researchers tested 11 different USB, PS-2 and laptop keyboards in a semi-anechoic chamber and found them all vulnerable, primarily because of the prohibitive cost of adding shielding during manufacture. The researchers used a wideband receiver to tune into the specific frequency of the emissions radiated from the keyboards. Optical surveillance Optical surveillance, while not a Kelliger in the classical sense, is nonetheless an approach that can be used to capture passwords or pins. A strategically placed camera, such as a hidden surveillance camera at an ATM, can allow a criminal to watch a pin or password being entered. Physical evidence for a keypad that is used only to enter a security code, the keys which are in actual use will have evidence of use for many fingerprints. A passcode of four digits, if the four digits in question are known, is reduced from 10,000 possibilities to just 24 possibilities. These could then be used on separate occasions for a manual brute force attack. Smartphone sensors Researchers showed the possibility of capturing keystrokes of nearby computer keyboard using accelerometer found in smartphones. The technique depends on the person typing at their computer with their mobile phone on the desk nearby. The vibrations created by typing onto the computer keyboard can be detected by the accelerometer of the phone and translated by a program into readable sentences with as much as 80% accuracy. The technique involves working through probability by detecting pairs of keystrokes, rather than individual keys. It models keyboard events in pairs and then works out whether the pair of keys pressed is on the left or the right side of the keyboard and whether they are close together or far apart on the QWE or TY keyboard. Once it has worked this out, it compares the results to a preloaded dictionary where each word has been broken down in the same way. Similar technique is also used to capture keystrokes of touchscreen keyboard on the same phone, while in some cases, in combination with gyroscope. History An early Kelliger was written by Perry Kivoloetz and posted to the Usenet News Group Net Unix Wizards, Net Sources on November 17, 1983. The posting seems to be a motivating factor in restricting access to CMOM on Unix systems. The user mode program operated by locating and dumping character lists as they were assembled in the Unix kernel. In the 1970s, spies installed keystroke loggers in the U.S. Embassy and Consulate buildings in Moscow and St. Petersburg. They installed the bugs in Selectric 2 and Selectric 3 electric typewriters. Soviet embassies used manual typewriters, rather than electric typewriters for classified information a euro apparently because they are immune to such bugs. As of 2013, Russian special services still use typewriters. Cracking, writing simple software applications for care logging can be trivial, and like any nefarious computer program, can be distributed as a Trojan horse or as part of a virus. What is not trivial for an attacker, however, is installing a cover keystroke logger without getting caught and downloading data that has been logged without being traced. An attacker that manually connects to a host machine to download logged keystrokes risks being traced. A Trojan that sends Kellogg data to a fixed email address or IP address risks exposing the attacker. Trojan, researchers devised several methods for solving this problem. He presented a deniable password snatching attack in which the keystroke logging trojan is installed using a virus or worm. An attacker who is caught with the virus or worm can claim to be a victim. The cryptotrojan asymmetrically encrypts the pilfered login password pairs using the public key of the trojan author and covertly broadcasts the resulting ciphertext. They mentioned that the ciphertext can be stenographically encoded and posted to a public bulletin board such as Usenet. Used by police, in 2000, the FBI used Flash Crest I Spy to obtain the PGP passphrase of Nicdemo Scarfo, Jr., son of mob boss Nicdemo Scarfo. Also in 2000, the FBI lured two suspected Russian cyber criminals to the U.S. in an elaborate ruse, and captured their usernames and passwords with a Kelliger that was covertly installed on a machine that they used to access their computers in Russia. The FBI then used these credentials to hack into the suspects' computers in Russia in order to obtain evidence to prosecute them. Countermeasures 
The effectiveness of countermeasures varies, because Kellogg's use a variety of techniques to capture data and the countermeasure needs to be effective against the particular data capture technique. For example, an on-screen keyboard will be effective against hardware Kellogg's, transparency will defeat some Euro, but not all Euro screen leggers and an anti-spyware application that can only disable hook-based Kellogg's will be ineffective against kernel-based Kellogg's. Also, Kellogg program authors may be able to update the code to adapt to countermeasures that may have proven to be effective against them. anti kellogg An anti kellogg is a piece of software specifically designed to detect kellogg on a computer, typically comparing all files in the computer against a database of kellogg looking for similarities which might signal the presence of a hidden kellogg As anti kellogg have been designed specifically to detect kellogg they have the potential to be more effective than conventional antivirus software. Some antivirus software do not consider certain Kellogg as a virus, as under some circumstances a Kellogg can be considered a legitimate piece of software. Live CD USB Rebooting the computer using a live CD or write protected live USB is a possible countermeasure against software Kellogg's if the CD is clean of malware and the operating system contained on it is secured and fully patched so that it cannot be infected as soon as it is started. Booting a different operating system does not impact the use of a hardware or BIOS based Kellogg. Anti spyware slash antivirus programs Many anti-spyware applications are able to detect some software-based Kelloggers and quarantine, disable or cleanse them. However, because many Kellogging programs are legitimate pieces of software under some circumstances, anti-spyware often neglects to label Kellogging programs as spyware or a virus. These applications are able to detect software-based Kelloggers based on patterns in executable code, heuristics and Kellogger behaviors. No software-based anti-spyware application can be 100% effective against all Kelligas. Also, software-based anti-spyware cannot defeat non-software Kelligas. However, the particular technique that the anti-spyware application uses will influence its potential effectiveness against software Kelligas. As a general rule, anti-spyware applications with higher privileges will defeat Kelligas with lower privileges. For example, a hook-based anti-spyware application cannot defeat a kernel-based Kellogg, but it could potentially defeat hook and API-based Kelloggers. Network monitors Network monitors can be used to alert the user whenever an application attempts to make a network connection. This gives the user the chance to prevent the Kellogg from phoning home with his or her typed information. Automatic form filler programs Automatic form filling programs may prevent Kellogging by removing the requirement for a user to type personal details and passwords using the keyboard. Form fillers are primarily designed for web browsers to fill and check out pages and log users into their accounts. Once the user's account and credit card information has been entered into the program, it will be automatically entered into forms without ever using the keyboard or clipboard, thereby reducing the possibility that private data is being recorded. However someone with physical access to the machine may still be able to install software that is able to intercept this information elsewhere in the operating system or while in transit on the network. Prevents the interception of data in transit by network sniffers and proxy tools. One-time passwords, using one-time passwords may be Kellogg safe, as each password is invalidated as soon as it is used. This solution may be useful for someone using a public computer. However, an attacker who has remote control over such a computer can simply wait for the victim to enter his her credentials before performing unauthorized transactions on their behalf while their session is active. Security tokens, use of smart cards or other security tokens may improve security against replay attacks in the face of a successful care logging attack, as accessing protected information would require both the security token as well as the appropriate password passphrase. Knowing the keystrokes, mouse actions, display, clipboard etc. used on one computer will not subsequently help an attacker gain access to the protected resource. Some security tokens work as a type of hardware-assisted one-time password system, and others implement a cryptographic challenge response authentication, which can improve security in a manner conceptually similar to one-time passwords.
smart card readers and their associated keypads for pin entry may be vulnerable to keystroke logging through a so-called supply chain attack where an attacker substitutes the card reader pin entry hardware for one which records the user's pin. On-screen keyboards most on-screen keyboards send normal keyboard event messages to the external target program to type text. Software key loggers can log these typed characters sent from one program to another. Additionally, key logging software can take screenshots of what is displayed on the screen, which means that although certainly a useful security measure, an on-screen keyboard will not protect from all key loggers. Keystroke interference software Keystroke interference software is also available. These programs attempt to trick Kelligers by introducing random keystrokes, although this simply results in the Kelliger recording more information than it needs to. An attacker has the task of extracting the keystrokes of interest to Euro the security of this mechanism, specifically how well it stands up to cryptanalysis, is unclear. Speech recognition, similar to on-screen keyboards, Speech-to-text conversion software can also be used against Kelligers, since there are no typing or mouse movements involved. The weakest point of using voice recognition software may be how the software sends the recognized text to target software after the recognition took place. Handwriting recognition and mouse gestures, also, many PDAs and lately tablet PCs can already convert pen movements on their touchscreens to computer-understandable text successfully. Mouse gestures use this principle by using mouse movements instead of a stylus. Mouse gesture programs convert these strokes to user-definable actions, such as typing text. Similarly, graphics tablets and light pens can be used to input these gestures, however these are less common every day. The same potential weakness of speech recognition applies to this technique as well. Macro expanders recorders, with the help of many programs, a seemingly meaningless text can be expanded to a meaningful text and most of the time context sensitively, for example en.wikipedia.org can be expanded when a web browser window has the focus. The biggest weakness of this technique is that these programs send their keystrokes directly to the target program. However, this can be overcome by using the alternating technique described below, that is sending mouse clicks to non-responsive areas of the target program sending meaningless keys, sending another mouse click to target area and switching back and forth. Non-technological methods, alternating between typing the login credentials and typing characters somewhere else in the focus window can cause a Kelliger to record more information than they need to, although this could easily be filtered out by an attacker. Similarly, a user can move their cursor using the mouse during typing, causing the logged keystrokes to be in the wrong order for example, by typing a password beginning with the last letter and then using the mouse to move the cursor for each subsequent letter. Lastly, someone can also use context menus to remove, cut, copy, and paste parts of the typed text without using the keyboard. An attacker who is able to capture only parts of a password will have a smaller key space to attack if he chose to execute a brute force attack. Another very similar technique uses the fact that any selected text portion is replaced by the next key typed. For example, if the password is secret, one could type S, then some dummy keys ASDFSD. Then, these dummies could be selected with the mouse, and the next character from the password E is typed, which replaces the dummies ASDFSD. These techniques assume incorrectly that keystroke logging software cannot directly monitor the clipboard, the selected text in a form, or take a screenshot every time a keystroke or mouse click occurs. They may however be effective against some hardware Kelligers. See also, anti Kelliger, black bag cryptanalysis, computer surveillance, digital footprint, hardware Kelliger, reverse connection, spyware, Trojan horse, virtual keyboard, References. External links, Kelligers at DMOZ, Kelogging Hardware and Software Kelogging Methods. Introduction to Spyware Kelligers, Kelligers, how they work and how to detect them, how to log in from an internet cafe without worrying about Kelligers.